The BYD Dolphin has now been around for a couple of years. There's a new version coming. Should you wait for it? I mean, here are some details that we know for the new Dolphin. The new version actually could be quite good. The current version is actually a very, very good car for the money. And I've, re I've recommended the Dolphin many times over the years. So what are the differences with the new version? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. And guys, I'm with PowerShop for my EV charging electricity plan. You can get a $100 credit on your electricity bill. Plus, if you sign up with my referral link in the description below, you'll get an additional, that's $175 of credit to sign up to PowerShop. I use the EV day saver plan. And the reason is because for those two hours from 12 till 2 p.m. in the day, you get electricity completely free. So yeah, two hours a day, it's probably gonna cover your electricity bills for your EV every day. Basically, you can charge your, free, your EV for free on this plan. I'll put a link in the description below. If you have a friend who is into EVs or should be into EVs, because everyone should be, then please share this video with them. Spy Shots have revealed the new BOD Dolphin and it looks substantially different to today's BOD Dolphin. To be honest, I wouldn't wait for it. I prefer the current version. I love One of the things I love about the current version is I love the body shape. It's like a little MPV. It's just so practical. Yeah, the bonnet is very short and it's actually reminds me of the Honda Jazz. Just a lot of interior space for the size of the car. However, the new version looks to me a lot like a Volkswagen Golf. So BYD is obviously going after that European car market for the Dolphin. So they've styled it like, a, to be honest, a European hatchback. A prototype, which is the Dolphin, is been, has been spotted testing on roads in China. And actually the Dolphin is China's top selling compact EV, says Car News China with 21,888 units sold in September. And the next generation is going to get an extensive overhaul. Now, I believe the um, Geely Xing Yuan actually has outsold the Beauty Dolphin by a large margin this year in China, and it does compete with the Xing Yuan. But the Xing Yuan is quite a bit cheaper than the Dolphin. So that's one of the reasons why. But anyway, the Dolphin is quite a good car, and you can see a lot of people are buying it. I mean, that's quite a lot of sales, 21,900. That includes sales in China and globally as well. And it's one of BYD's most important global models. Apparently, the BYD Dolphin will use a structural battery pack. It doesn't actually have one currently for some reason, apparently, according to Car News China, and along with a revised rear suspension, apparently a four-link or, four or five-link setup, it should improve its handling and ride. There will also be rear-wheel drive. I don't know if that's true, but people are saying it's going to go to rear-wheel drive like the MG4. That is one of the criticisms of a lot of EVs. People say, well, why did you make them all front wheel drive? What's the deal with your obsession with front wheel drive? There's no real advantage. There's an advantage with internal combustion cars to make them front wheel drive in terms of packaging, but with an EV, there's not really. So yeah, it is interesting to see that BBD might go to rear wheel drive. I think that could be a good decision. There's also gonna be a front trunk. The BBD Dolphin doesn't currently have a front trunk. You can kind of modify it to have a little one in there, but it doesn't have a proper one. Motors be more power as well plus there's going to be bigger battery packs which would make sense because it looks a little bigger this new version insiders expect a long range rear wheel drive and also a hybrid version to come out it's going to come out in the second quarter of 2026 in china probably by the end of the year in overseas markets would be my guess Preliminary data says the Dolphin will exceed a range of 520 kilometers CLTC and get BOD's new Blade Battery 2.0 with improved cold weather endurance, retaining 82% capacity at minus 30 degrees Celsius. Car News China and different reports say the new Dolphin will get the new Blade Battery. I don't know if this is true, but if it does, which one? Um, guys, it would be nice if you make these reports in China. <laughs> Tell us which battery. I mean, I don't know which. There's two different blade batteries that are coming out. Uh, one of them is going to have higher energy density, much higher than the existing blade battery. And the other one will be the one that's in the Tang L. And the Han L has 
only slightly higher energy density than the existing blade battery, but it's got short blades and it can charge at 1,000 kilowatt. It's got a 1,000 volt architecture. I'm going to guess it probably won't have a 1,000 volt architecture, the new Dolphin though. So I'm not sure which blade battery it'll have. The interior will have a simplified dashboard with dual tone seats, uh, which it already has, a large floating central, central touchscreen, which it already has, but maybe the touchscreen will be bigger. It's also going to get the Dialink 5.0 or DI Link 5.0 powered by the Qualcomm 8295 chip. So I get the new, basically new operating system, new, com new chips, and that's apparently claims say 0.8 second voice response and optional level two, level two plus driver assistance with highway NOA, navigation on autopilot. Now, of course, it'll use the God's Eye C or God's Eye B. I'm going to guess God's Eye C, which is not from BYD. I mean, BYD obviously sell you the car. It has that tech in it, but I believe uh, that tech is actually from Mementa. So Mementa is one of the best full self-driving companies actually in the world. So it made sense for BYD to partner with Mementa. That was a very good decision. It'll use the God's Eye C system from Mementa, which is obviously installed in BYD's newer EV. So that's going to be good. That'll be actually a pretty significant improvement over the current BYD Dolphin. Now, will it have level two plus driver assistance um, with highway navigation on autopilot? Uh, probably not level two plus. I mean, if it does, that would be awesome. I mean, imagine this Dolphin, if it had level two plus, uh, a thousand volt architecture, a thousand kilowatt charging with BYD's new blade batteries, just seem to be unreal. But uh, that would probably make it a bit more expensive than what the average person would want to pay for a Dolphin. So yeah, I'm guessing it it probably won't be quite that good. Anyway, the exterior design will change a little bit. As you can see, the, the shape of the body is different. It's gonna have slimmer headlights, smaller air intakes, and a refined rear section featuring full width taillights. Dimensions, apparently gonna be basically the same as the current model. So maybe I'm just seeing this wrong. 4,280 millimeters long. It sounds like it's gonna be almost the same size as the current model. But to me, it, these pictures, it, it does look quite different. In fact, it does look different. Am I am I tired and crazy? Or to me, it does look different. Anyway, launch timing. It's going to be between June and August of 2026. So really, the middle of next year. Pricing will remain approximately at its current price. So fourteen thousand to eighteen thousand US dollars in China. The 2025 Dolphin already is. Um, in China, and the, we don't even have that globally yet, has more range. So 520 kilometers of CLTC range, same entry level prices. The prices, uh, I believe, in China have been discounted, but um, it's still it's still a really good car, sells really well. But with these new changes, this thing could be incredible. So I hope this report is correct. Can't confirm 100% that it is, but um, good chance that some of these details are right. I, like I said, I don't think it's going to get a 1,000 volt architecture with 1,000 kilowatt charging, but I do think that there is a possibility that it'll come with either one of BYD's new blade batteries, probably the, the higher energy density blade battery that doesn't support 1,000 volt architecture and 1,000 kilowatt charging. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments.